Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello, what is up and how are you guys doing? Man, today we're in for a cool little treat. It is October after all and why not go ahead and just start building some Halloween themed things. So I have been, always wanted to do this. I think I did some last year, a couple haunted houses and stuff like that. We might bring some of those back this year as well. But let me know if you guys want any Halloween specific builds. Uh, you can name anything haunted house. We can name, uh, I don't know, something, a, a giant pixel art of me. In a, in a vampire outfit whatever you want you know I, I, we can do a uh, some some really cool halloween themed stuff maybe even another witch's hut uh something crazy i don't know just name in the comment section what do you guys got as far as halloween's themed builds uh maybe in a graveyard something like that i don't know I'm, i'll be down to build anything i got a couple ideas coming down uh this month but man we gotta we gotta hit it really hard this year with some halloween themed builds but right now i got a really cool idea i want to build a, a giant pumpkin a fantasy style pumpkin you can live in so it's got a pumpkin house theme. Uh, it's gonna be pretty cool, very fantasy related, and uh, I wanna get this going right now. So let's flip. This is what I got as far as an outline right here. So let's start this up. So get on to the tippy top. You can see it right there, pause the screen. This is gonna be the dimensions of our pumpkin. And we're gonna be using a lot of orange stuff. So we got orange concrete, orange terracotta, some orange concrete powder, some green terracotta for the stem, we're gonna bring in some spruce and all the spruce family and a couple other things along the way But for now, this is the dimensions of our pumpkin. Let's get this started. So uh, this is looking really cool So I might even um, uh, Make this a little more organic along the way, but this is a good base uh, to start out with So I make it a little bit ovalish. So uh, if you see it right here, this is a one two three four five We got a two a two and then this curves down to a one another four right here uh, We got a two and then it just repeats the pattern all the way around. So we got that going so this is what I want to start doing. Let's start uh, lifting this up. I'm going to be mixing and um, texturizing with all this orange, but for now I'm just going to go out with a regular orange terracotta uh, and orange concrete. We're just going to bring it along the way. Uh, let's do orange concrete first, and then we'll raise it up and we'll play around with it. So let's just play around right now. Uh, so right here, I'm just going to lift this up. Let's lift this up by one, two, three, right there, three. Let's go four. And let's go five up, five up. So let's go five up on that. This one I'm gonna take up one, two, three, okay? This one I'm gonna take up by one and two, and th well, that's technically three if you think about it. And this is one, two, three, four, this is a five. So five, four, three. And then here, I'm gonna go up again. This one's gonna be a three. This one's gonna go up by one, two, three, four. This is gonna go up by three again, another three. And then we're gonna repeat that the way we're going up. So this is a four. And then this one, we're gonna go up as a five. So one, two, three, four, and a five. So for now, let's just go and repeat the same pattern. So this is again, it's a four. This is a three, three. This one, we're gonna take it up one, two, three, four, right there. And just repeating the pattern. That's another three. That's another three. This is another four. All right, so everything is kind of mirrored around all the way around like this. Pretty cool. Now, I'm going to start bringing it up in the inside. So we're going to take this up right here and just take it up by one right there on the side. Now, uh, actually, right here, all the way around like so. This one's going to go up and out like that. So this, this is going to go up. This is actually going to take it up again. So we're actually going to bring it in like so. So one up on everything and on those corners like this. Take it in, take it up. So that's how we're doing it. We're giving it one layer on the bottom. So let's take two up here. Then we're going to go up by two here. This is going to go all the way around like so. Let's take that up also on this end right here. So down and up. I'm going to take that up right here up right here some of these you don't need to keep so we could take some of these away like those we could take that away on this side where i think we're leveled up pretty good and then we're going to take that up and around so just like that so far let's keep going so right here let's take it in one we're going to take it in one right there uh we'll, we'll work on the big part later let's just do this for now the smaller area so we're going to go around like so we don't need this piece see uh so we're going to go down placeholder blocks for now there we go take that all the way around so we have this and let's just take it up by two just so we can have that elevation you can see where it's at right now so let's come on this side put that in here take it around the corner placeholder block goes away this goes around let's take it up 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 all the way around and here let's cross that in cool so we have this actually we could take that little piece out we took it out there that's fine we take that little piece out take that little piece out and then ooh, we forgot to join that little one right there so these you gotta keep see these you gotta keep 
those are part of it but you can get rid of everything else let's see that's mirrored see you didn't you don't need you need that piece you don't need these let's take a look all the way around see if it's all nicely symmetrical everything looks perfect okay let's go back inside so now we're gonna have to work on this part and let's look at it like this so we have this going like that so far looking very cool now let's come on in to this end we're gonna take it all the way around right here placeholder block take that out here we go take this in placeholder block take that in placeholder block so we have that going let's take this up right here come inside and we're going to just go ring around all of this just one level up so everything gets matched up and layered in right here bomb come inside placeholder block placeholder block and take that down we're going to go all the way around and swing it just like this and then everything is matching so far right there let's look at it from the tippy top let's look at it from down here that's looking awesome. I love this. It's looking so cool. And we're all going to uh, do a little bit of tweaks and stuff later on. But for now, it's looking really nice. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to go up another layer on this. So let's take that up one more here. Let's take it up one more on all of these. Just swing all the way around. Just to give it a little bit of more thickness on the tippy top. Like so. Take it all the way around. Like that. Perfect. Then I'm going to take it in and we're going to go up with it. So cross here. We're gonna go up here, take that out. These are placeholders only, we don't need that. Take it up and around, and now we're just gonna swing around, take away the placeholder blocks, swing around, and go up by one, just like this. Up by one, placeholder blocks go away, and then we're gonna meet up right here. Okay, so let's look at it from right there. Oh, that's looking very cool. Now, I'm gonna take it up right here. This actually, seal one level all the way around like this all the way around like this so we have this little layer so now I want to put like a little cap on it I want to put a little tiny cap on it uh, so for the cap I'm gonna go right inside on the inside part and we're gonna go all the way around like so cover everything up like this so everything gets covered up like this on all the sides then this cap is looking a little, it's cute, but I want to go ahead now and get the green out. And we're going to go in like this. Just like this. We're going to go on like that. Do a 1, 2, 3, 4 by 2 on that side. See it? And then on the inside, we're going to go ahead and do something like this. On this side, we're going to go up and around like this. And... Take it up just like that. We're going to curve this out and do like a little bit of, it's going to curve down a little like so. There it is. It kind of curves down and take it up again. Let's go in a little bit, make it a little thicker. There it is. Let's actually, I think one less. There we go. So that kind of curves in and, and down to the side. That looks awesome. And maybe make it a little bit thicker on the bottom like so maybe branch it out even more around this area. Take it down a little bit on that side. And you know what? Make this a little less. There we go. That is so cute. Look at that thing. I love this thing. This is awesome. Okay, so this is how it looks like on this side. That's how it looks like on this side, and it's looking awesome. I like the way that curves, so that's looking really cool. So now, we got a nice little strong base to start out with. So really quick, what I want to do is I want to come in here, and I want to texture some of this with some of the regular orange terracotta. So it's a different shade of orange. So I'm going to do this off cami cam, just randomly throw it in. And you could just do it too, just for inspiration. Just make it random. Don't make it any kind of patterny look to it. Something like this, very just splash down like that. And let's see what, how it turns out. Let me go ahead. I'll do this off cam. You can. Let's do it real fast. All right, so we did it. Everything is textured up, looking very cool. I like this so much. I can't wait to add all the details to it. I, I tweaked this a little bit here. All I did was make it a little simpler because it does look. It did look like it was just uh, all over the place with the stem. So I kind of like the way it came out right now. Oh, maybe a little more green though. There we go. Maybe like the stem came down a little more. 
There, just a little more random. There you go. I like that. A little, a little fatter stem. That's cool. Uh, so now I want to work on the front door and the windows, little pop out areas. We're going to have a little garden in the side. Uh, so let's play around with it. So, front door, I'm going to put it right here, dead center. So, I'm going to get rid of these right here. Uh, let's replace maybe one of you. Okay, perfect. So, I'm going to replace this with a just a three by three hole. Three by three by three by three. Um, so, let's put a, a little bit of a foundation on this. Uh, so, I want to make this almost hobbit hole the way um, the entrance would be, uh, the kind of style that I like. Uh, so I'm gonna go in right here uh, with some logs. So regular oak log, one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, I'm gonna do, uh, let's bring in on the inside, let's do some cobble, uh, maybe like right here at this edge. How about we do a little stair? Uh, actually, let's do with the oak stair. Uh, so we have a cobble base right there. Let's bring this down like that. Okay, cool. Uh, and then I want to do like a nice little archway uh, kind of style to it. Uh, let's see. What if we do? Uh, let's do start like this. Two stairs, upside down on both sides. Uh, you know what? I might even take this out and put this as a cross beam of our yeah wood. That looks cool. Uh, let's maybe bring back a little concrete powder in there. Uh, okay, that's looking awesome. So let's see. What about a slab went away? Uh, let's bring that slab back in. Uh, so let's do slab, slab, slab right there. Uh, we can make this more fantasy style. So what if we do upside down stairs? Let's do a stair here, here. Two stairs down here. Uh, let's maybe do a couple stairs on each side here, like so. Uh, we can bring in, let's say, a gate. What if we bring in some dark oak right here real fast? A little dark oak there, there, and there. A little extra details to that that looks cool uh, we can go ahead and maybe do a stair here stair here here and here that looks awesome what if we then do another stair here upside down here upside down oh that's looking so cool I love that style and then what if we grab a slab put it right there there and then maybe take it up oh can I do it I gotta do this let's do that oh that looks very whimsical uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see how we can do this. Uh, so something like that. That looks so awesome. Now, let's bring in a stair over. Actually, let's replace these two. Do two stairs here. Let's put two upside down stairs on both sides over there. And that looks so cool. I love that. Uh, so that's a cool little style we have going. That's so cool. Okay, so we have this right here. I'm thinking if we also do some stairs right there. Let's bring in two more stairs here. And we can keep this going with the gate all the way around. That looks awesome. Oh, I like that style. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's leave that as is right here. That looks awesome. Then what we could do is let's actually do a window right on the tippy top. Uh, so let me grab the log back in here. Let's see. Uh, knock that out. Uh, put the key back. All right, let's see if we can bring a log in. I'm going to bring it right in here. So let's put a placeholder block. Go up here by four. The placeholder block then one two three and four that looks awesome then we could do a little window right inside we can cross beam that that looks really cool uh, and then here we can work on a little roof kind of thing and I'm thinking if we're gonna go let's see if we can keep the fantasy style going let's do something like this uh, something like this let's do some upside down stairs a uh, regular stair here two upside downs and let's go with slab 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 like so that looks cool and then this can go all the way back into it like this all the way back into it like this and then maybe even just take this all the way down to that point take this also all the way down to there keeping that in there let's take this all the way down to the stem take that all the way down to the stem as well and just seal this back all the way to the stem there we go so we have this cool little look in the inside part i might just go ahead and seal this uh with how about we bring in some of these spruce um a uh, little uh, what is this called like a strip log <laughs> and put that in there that looks awesome then we have a little window in here and maybe a little upside down stair can go there and then that'll be our little window placement right there that looks pretty cool i like that i like that you know this is distracting me a little bit this little <laughs> even though it's not placed anywhere uh i think i might take that and just leave it like that 
I think that's cool. Because those little flickety bits, it doesn't look like it's supported by anything. So I'm taking those out. That's fine. Uh, all right. So we have this little area done looking nice. Now, what's really cool is we can do anything now. Uh, if we want, we can even mirror this part to the back. Or we can make it completely random. I'm thinking about making it all random. So here's another spot we could do. How about over here? We could do like a little, uh, little balcony tower kind of thing. So how about we take these two out here? Uh, we can bring in the log again. So let's go inside from here. Take the log up to this point right here. So let's count that out. Let's go back in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go up nine. Uh, and that looks really cool. Let's do a nine. And then how about we do right here? Listen to another one. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's cross beam here here uh here in this part we could do something let's maybe put in a little i would think yeah a little slab right there uh take it up one more and here we could do a little layer of uh log going straight down that looks cool and then we can have like a little walkway here with a fence and let's actually bring in some dark oak fence since we do have those gates on the bottom let's go dark oak dark oak and then do some right there and maybe some gates uh same one that we had on the other side let's just bring those back in that's jungle what are you doing, gates? You're the wrong gate. There you go. And let's put some gates here. That looks really nice. And then what if we do like a little bit of an overhang too? Uh, but over here, we could do another little cross. That looks great. And then we could do like a little overhang kind of thing. So let's bring in maybe the wall. Uh, let's take this up by one on each side. And then we could do, uh, let's take this little overhang right there. Stay right there looks really good. So we have that. Uh, we could take this up one more here, and then just to give it a little bit of detail, we make it do a couple of those just to make it stand out, just a bit. That looks awesome. Uh, I like that. All right, so we have this little area over here. I might do just a window right here. We could just leave that as is. Maybe even put some trap doors on each side. And that looks awesome. So we have that little bit. So that's another way around. Uh, now, on this end right here, this corner, let's add a little bit of detail. How about we add some bricks? Uh, and we can make a little chimney fireplace thingy. Uh, and that would look pretty cool. And something like right here. Let's knock this out. Let's knock this out. Let's do like a little one, two, up all the way. Maybe even take these bits out. And let's cover it right up to this layer. Yeah. And then we're going to take this all the way up. And then we can make it more fantasy. We could maybe take it up and curve it. Uh, let's take it up. So right here, if we count it, it is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's take it up a nine. And then maybe we can go up. This is 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then we can play around with this. Maybe take this up by two more. Let's take this up by one more. Oh, that looks good. And then some of these we can mess with. Let's see. Maybe something like that. There we go. There we go. And then here we could do the wall with the slab right there. And that looks pretty cool. I like that. And then we can just mess with it too, going up and down with it, maybe throwing some uh, little cracks inside it. Uh, maybe something like that. Oh, a little hole right there looks cool. Something like that. Oh, that's nice. There we go. All right, that looks cool. Uh, so we have that going. That's another little piece we can add for detail. Uh, we can add another little uh, section over here, maybe a little outside area too. A little back door on the side right here might be okay. Let's see, something like that. So a little back door action. Uh, and then back here, uh, let's get the this, there we go. And then we can do a nice little patio kind of thing. Let's take this down. So from here, I'm gonna go one, two, three. Take it one to the side, one, two, three. Let's take it one more in. Let's take this actually two this way. One in, two and something like that. And we can have like a little outdoor patio kind of thing. Uh, if anything, we can use also the other oak, the one without the, the tippy tops. I think that'll actually look better. Let's do that. So I'm just gonna replace all these with the same, uh, but without the uh, little cutaway piece on the top. So right there. All right, perfect. 
So we have that going all the way around. That looks cool, a little outside area. And then some of these could be like overhanged with stuff. So we can actually do maybe one of these could be like this. Let's see, maybe this one. We can go up one, two, three, four. And then maybe this, these two. One, two, three, four, like that. Uh, actually, let's do three. And then we can go ahead and work on something like this. So let's grab another slab and we can slab it up. So let's go up like so. And then take it down and around the same pattern like so. And then this can come down and then maybe we can meet up just like right there. That looks cool. And then maybe we can actually go out even one more. And that kind of goes over this area. And then for details, we can add more things like maybe some stairs right here. That looks like it's almost could be like a little like a little bar kind of thing you could come out to. That looks cool. Uh, maybe for some of these, we could just randomly start adding some details. Like uh, some of these can have slabs in it, like so. Some of these can have stairs randomly thrown in like this, just to give it a little lip to it. Uh, maybe something like so, like so. And maybe some of these can also have trap doors instead. Uh, let's see, maybe replace that guy and that one. Oh, this is looking really, really cool. Uh, maybe another little slab here and maybe double slab. And then some of these outside can also have some slabs and some stairs, like so. That looks awesome. Just randomly mess mess with the outside section. And then some of these can also be messed with too. Like some of these we can add, uh, let's see, trap door uh, on some. Let's see, let me replace that. Maybe some of these here can have a trap door. Some of these can go into trap door like that. That looks kind of cool. And just break it up a little bit. Uh, let's see, maybe even, hmm. Uh, you know, this could be a stair, or that might look actually pretty cool. There we go. Maybe some of these could be stairs. No, maybe this one. There we go. Maybe some of these could be stairs. Just change it up a little bit. Uh, and then, what does this look like as a trap today? I don't like the edges as trap doors. Uh, and then maybe right there. There you go. Something like that might look pretty cool. We can even mess with some of these down here and take maybe some of those out. Oh, that looks awesome. There you go. So a little bit of detail here on the outside, so a little porch area. We can add uh, maybe even a window to some of these. Like see, maybe one of those could be a window. Uh, if we do that, we can actually maybe lift this up a little bit. And then that could be a little side window. There we go, it's a little window right there. Uh, okay, now on this side, let's keep going. So this one I wanna add maybe a couple windows on the top. Uh, let's do is bring this wood back in. I think right here is like the perfect spot. So let's do placeholder block here, or we might even take it all the way in. One, two, three, four. Let's go in here too, placeholder block. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's do, a, let's see, how about one here? Let's just change it up a little bit. Do a little window right there. That looks awesome. And then you know what? We can actually do a little something out here too. What if we do like a little uh, a little balcony out here? You can walk around. Uh, maybe like right here. Let's take this down. Uh, maybe right here. Take that around. And we can go ahead and walk out here and maybe have a little overhang to it. Uh, I think right here might be a good spot, right there. So let's do maybe something like this. Coming around, coming around a little something like that. And then maybe just something that swings around it like so. Something like that. That looks really, really cool. And then we have a little balcony area here that can you could definitely use. You can maybe do a little cross beam, a little cross beam uh, that meets up right there. I think there's fine. We could work on something, but something like that kind of open feel to it. I like that. I like that little balcony area. So we have that over here. We can do a little window. Um, thinking something like this simple little stair right here. And then here we can take it up. Maybe something like this, something like that, something tiny. And then we can even do, where is my trap door? Uh, and then we can do something like Let's see. Hmm, hold on. 
Mm, nah, I think I like that. Just like that. Something simple, something small. We can even do this, actually. actually. This might even look pretty cool. Something like this, like this, and then on the tippy top. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Something like that, a little small window off to the side. So that's looking awesome. So we have this little area. Uh, let's see, glass. As far as glass, what can we use? Uh, I think maybe white might stand out the most. Uh, so a little white right there. Yeah, 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 that looks so cool. So a little white here. That's going to be a double door. We're going to go all this around here. Let's see. There was a window here, right? Yes. So we got a little white right around there. That looks awesome. Maybe a little overhang too over this. So maybe a little something like that. Might look pretty cool. And then maybe a slab on top. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks awesome. And then maybe a couple little bit of extra details like this. And maybe a flower box? Might look okay right there? Yeah. That yeah, looks pretty cool. That looks awesome. How about just all the way around flower box like this? Yeah, that looks awesome. Oh, man. I love that. Okay, so we have that. We have our door, backyard, patio area. We have our balcony over here. That's looking really cool. Um, I might add a little bit of bush and stuff just vining down, coming around the side. That'll be awesome. Uh, over here, another. Let's actually repeat that one. Uh, the only thing symmetrical is probably going to be this uh, right here. Uh, so something like this. And what do we do? We got those two down there. We're going to go around here with the traps. Uh, and then we have the two slabs and the... Where's my stairs? They went away. Right here. Then these go like this. Then we have our trap doors here, 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 and there. Cool. All right. That looks cool. All right. What else can we do? We can do so many more things. How about, how about a tiny window here? Tiny window here. This goes, let's see, something like this little placeholder. Tiny window in here bring this in and i like using the the wood as our our little uh frame for our for our little thing here and then here we can connect these if anything watch this we could do a little connect the dot kind of thing and then even do a trap door there kind of connection that's awesome uh and then in here we could take this out maybe do something like that that is actually not that bad we can even maybe even do it here too let's actually repeat that uh so this goes down let's see this is going to go in here, up by two, this one was here, this was oh, down here, one, two, three, then we can go ahead and work that in, so that goes like that, let's actually put that as a connection, yeah, that's fine, then we have our stair, which I lost, there it is, um, what if we do, a, is it like a little different, no, let's actually put this back, let's keep the same style, uh, so then this was here, oh, that's perfect. Uh, let's see. We can actually do that to change it up a little bit. That's nice. And let's put this little... There we go. That's sweet. All right. Let's put that back. So we have this going here. This going right here. Uh, this actually... Let's see. I think I want to put that back in there. I think I want to add that little piece there. It might look a little better if we do. Let's see. Actually, no. Let's just leave it like that. <laughs> okay. That works out even better. Perfect. So we have this. Look at this. This look is so cool. Uh, another little thing we can do is add some windows on the bottom. Uh, I say we add a window here and here. And then if we do that, we might actually just close that off right here. Close that off right there. Bring in that glass. And it's going to go here and there. Maybe a little trap door uh, overhang like that with a little trap door on the side. Actually, I think just trap door on the side might be okay. Yeah, just like that. Little trap doors on the side. We can actually do the same thing over here. So what if we do uh, maybe just a different one? Let's actually do let's do one here in this corner. Just just one in this corner. Just right here. There we go. Trap door. Where are you at? Trap. I need a trap. 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 Is there not? Wait. We have one right there. Okay. Uh, a little trap door overhang right there, just to give it a little bit of a different feel. Actually, I kind of like the way it's up to the top like that better. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, so let's take a quick spin and see how we're doing. That's looking awesome. We got our little thing here. I'm going to put a door in there. We can add some bush. Uh, I think that's looking awesome. Here, I want to leave this open. I actually want, like that open feel to it. I don't know. I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, so we have that. Oh, window right here. Bam. Uh, and then for added details, maybe a little shutter action. Trap doors kind of right there. This one can add a few also. Uh, this one we can add one to the top these we can add to the sides let's go in here and put our little door and we're doing great we're doing great we're almost done 
so as far as down here, maybe a little cross beam action. Uh, we could do door door. So that's it here. Uh, we got a lot of stuff here. Let's maybe uh, trim some of these down. I think we can do leave those there. Maybe have those facing downwards. Uh, I think we can have that right there. Maybe take that little piece out. Uh, here I would probably even seal this part in right here. Maybe change some of those up. There we go. So we have that. Uh, I would think if we're going to do this, let's go all the way down with it right here. Uh, we can even take this all the way down as well. So that kind of seals everything up up top. Uh, we do need that little piece. We can make this pretty organic looking by just having uh, a couple hanging um, woods down, which is going to be kind of cool. Maybe something like this just hanging down. Since we do have this style already, why not even just embrace it? Uh, so maybe take some of these down a little bit. Uh, this one can stay down, maybe a little lower. This one, I would do on this little cross beam since we do have it here already. Cross beam right here in the front. Uh, we can cross here, cross there. Maybe an extra cross beam right here. Do we need that? Yes, we do need it like that. Uh, that's fine actually, that looks good there. Do we need you too? No, we don't. Cool. Saving some space. Looking all right. Uh, let's see. We do need that. Let's see what else we can play around. We need you. Yes, we do. Put it back. Uh, so as far as the inside, looking good. Let's actually just bring these down. Let's see. Cross that. Okay. This is looking good. Okay. So now, in the inside part, we could definitely start playing around with this thing. Uh, so door would be there. We can maybe take those out do something like this. We have that door entrance uh, You know what? Let's take this all the way down right here. I'm gonna cover that piece up. That looks good Let's cover this up right there. So we have this little nook area. Can we do we need those? Yes, we do uh, what if We can cover these up. Let's get some trap and some slab and I'm gonna seal that off like so do we need you? We don't, and we really don't. So I can go ahead and do, let's do another cross, let's see. Let's do this. I'm gonna seal this off here. Bring this up like so, and then we're gonna bring in a layer like that. That looks cool. And then you know what? What if we do this? So this would be the level to separate your flooring right here at this end. So we can go ahead and just take this down. Uh, and then I'm gonna just gonna take it all down like this and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna go ahead and do uh, some cross beams and a stair placement on this thing. But for now, I think this is the best layer to actually put our next floor. And it's so much space, we can have so many rooms here, it's crazy. Uh, so let's lay this all the way down. Okay, perfect. So we have this look. Um, here, we actually don't need this that it's here now. Uh, let's come out to the side here. Hmm. We actually don't really need this beam here. Uh, because it's just, it, we don't, we just don't. Uh, but we can leave this kind of open still. Uh, just to hang out in, that's fine. I'll bring that down. This one, we could bring, actually, do we need any of this? We don't need any of that, that's perfect. Cover that up. Let's cover all these up right there. Oh, that's so much better. So much better. Let's maybe take that down, take this all the way around and down. Perfect. All right, cool. So this will be like a little open space, which I love that. It looks awesome. Uh, maybe take this little piece off and do something like that. That looks cool. And then we have this little area here. I'm thinking if we do something, watch this. What if we do another beam right here? It kind of sets that little spot there really nicely. And then we could maybe put like a little, a little gate or a little fence, just in case you don't want people to fall off. Uh, so let's do a dark oak gate right there. Uh, we could drop that, a little dark oak fence right there, that's perfect. And then maybe even add another one right here. And then this could be like another little gate. Um, so you can have that. Uh, or you can make it a fence, fence gate too, which actually is not that bad. Uh, what if we take this in? I want to see something. Let's take that in. Actually, it looks a little better. And then what we could do too, we could add some of these trap doors as little end pieces just to show a little bit of a different look around. That actually looks a little better. Uh, let's see. Something like that looks 
a ton better right there. Uh, let's see, maybe a little more out. Like so. Yeah, that just adds a little more, gives a little overhang, and you still have that fence right there. That actually looks a lot better, a lot better. Uh, so put a little fence right there. So that's kind of open, looks nice, perfect. And then we have all the space, and then we can knock some stuff down here, maybe put a little bit of glowstone and stuff like that. Uh, would not be too bad right there. Oh, it looks so good, looks so good, there we go. It just leaves it a little more open, uh, right about, I think that's it, we don't wanna mess with it too much. There we go. And then we can add a little bit of glowstone, uh, a little bit of details on the ceiling. It looks pretty cool. And we have all this space. Uh, and then this, I would probably do, let's do two of these and a little stair in the middle. Well, we can actually take this all the way up just to give it a nice little look to it. And then this will be our way up to our little balcony on the top. Perfect. And we have all this space, so much stuff. Uh, and then down here, just to give it a little bit more to look at. Uh, what if we just take some of these out and do little cross beams? So maybe right here, do a cross beam. Uh, we could do it in random spots. It doesn't have to be exactly the same places. So maybe one right there. Maybe even mess with it. And maybe from this beam, do another little cross beam right here. Just to add a little bit of a different look to it. Uh, and have some details on the ceiling. Why not? Uh, I would think if we do a stair, it'll probably be best to do one maybe right here on this end. Just do like a little... Maybe... Oh no, not on this end because we have this thing here. Uh, what if... Let's see. What's a good spot? Maybe right here. Oh, perfect. Actually, right here would be a perfect spot. And you can do a little spiral staircase. You can go right here up the middle. Perfect. And then we could do a little spiral going up. And then this is easy. I'll just go like this. We'll do like that. Going all the way up, little spiral staircase. And this just takes you all the way up into the second floor. I mean, well, we're going to have so much space to do so many things. So going all the way up. And I think right there, end it. Boom. And then this takes you up, and then we can put a little fence right here so nobody falls down. Right there, perfect. And then over here, you could take it all the way up, and that actually looks pretty cool. You can take it up, or you can even cap it off, put a little boop right there on it. Uh, and then on the sides here, let's grab a little trap, and then so nobody falls on that. You have this, and you have that, perfect. So then you go all brown and down, and that is your way up right here, which is super cool. Uh, on this, I might just seal that right there. And then this guy, uh, I don't really wanna mess with too much. I think probably the best thing to do is probably just uh, some furnaces on this right here. And that'll actually do everything you need it to. Just a couple furnaces right there. And that looks good. We can even take this up on, stop touching that thing. There we go, right here on this side. Uh, and if you really wanna make it look cool, uh, oh, I don't wanna mess with that. Uh, maybe even, how about some slab? Ah, what is that? Slabs of brick, there we go. And maybe even do something like that. Oh, that looks good. And maybe even take it up. And there we go, we have that little area looking very cool. Uh, if anything, if you wanna even add even more detail, maybe something like that and have that hidden, that's fine. Uh, or you could even go and have like a little oven looking thing. That looks awesome, that's it, <laughs> that is super cool. Uh, we can have our door to get in right here. Forgot about our little window here, we're gonna need something. How about a little double right there? Looking nice, little window corner over here, looking really, really cool. So nice, so much space for things. Uh, ooh, let's put that back. This could even be stretched out to this corner. Uh, like that, uh, even if you really want to make it tighter in here, maybe even something like that. But now nah, let's, you know, leave as much space as you can. Let's just leave that open. And bah, there you go. So open space here, so many things you could do. I would think maybe a kitchen uh, on this end, uh, maybe a, a dining room on this side. Over here you have a little library area, maybe a little potion enchanting room section, something like that. So much space for details. Uh, I would even add maybe another little cross beam, like right, I don't know, it looks like it's begging for one right there. Uh, and have maybe random cross beams going down uh, the way. It doesn't have to be uh, mirrored to anything or anything specific. Just maybe even completely random, maybe throw another one like right there. Just to make it completely, uh, just weird it out. Just go crazy with it. A couple random cross beams, maybe another one like right here, why not? Uh, and then, you know, go nuts. And then some of these could be re replaced with some trap doors too, just to change up the ceilings a little bit. Uh, they're directional now, so some can be turned this way, some that way and just adding just 
uh, slight details. It's just gonna make everything look really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, there's your flooring. As far as the floor, you can even leave it as grass. It's kind of look cool. Or you can even change it uh, to some of the green we have over here. Uh, that's awesome. But let's see what we got. I think another little thing we can add just before we put the last finishing touches on this. Um, let's just add some leaves. We can add some leaves around. Let's just give it some details here on the open spaces that we have. If you want to put some stuff, maybe a little bit of leaf action. Not nothing too crazy. Maybe a little bit less. <laughs> something like this uh, will look pretty cool. Something like that. Just playing around on the corners. There, that looks cool. Something like that. A little dabs everywhere. Uh, maybe a little bit on the top too. Maybe take some pieces off. Uh, something like this around the chimney area too might look pretty cool maybe wrapped around and draped down a little bit curved into it like that it looks really nice maybe a little bit of extra there you go uh, I would think maybe some on the bottom too might be pretty cool just sprinkled around like so that looks awesome How about on this side yeah this side looks like it definitely needs a little bit I'll even take that little piece off and go around like so uh, maybe some towards the bottom as well. There we go. <laughs> that looks so cool. We added so much. Now, how about a little bit up here too? Uh, maybe take away some of these things. We can even go in here if you want and let it hang from down there. That might be a really nice feature. Uh, also add a little bit to this side too, just to make it look a little cooler. There we go. That looks awesome. A little bit of bush all around. Not nothing too much, just just light spots. Uh, and we definitely have a little bit of uh, greenery on this thing. Maybe a little bit more right there. Oh, that looks nice. Uh, maybe a little bit right here, kind of draped down. Maybe even some broke in. You can even do that if you want. Uh, maybe even some on the inside part right here will look okay. There we go. Some right there, some on the side, some on the corner. Oh, chimney action, balconies everywhere. Uh, we can add a little bit of flowers too. Maybe a little bit of these, a little bit of that. Uh, just go nuts. Maybe one of those, one of those. And I think we have one also on this side. One of these and one of these. Cool. There it is. So that is our uh, little pumpkin house. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this thing. Came out really, really cool. I love this. Looking very awesome. Uh, can't forget the front door though. Let's drop two front door, little, little front door right here. There we go. Uh, seal it there it is all right <laughs> nice this came out really really cool i love this what else should we build for halloween i don't know what do you guys think this is a lot of inspiration hope you guys enjoy this little fantasy style build oh so cool if you guys build this let me know but send me pictures on twitter uh we also have a discord server if you want to jump in there and send me pics on that man i love seeing you guys build uh these things and if you do any modifications interior stuff like that let me know i'm so excited to see those things but i'm out for now thank you everybody for watching and i'll catch you on the next episode of building with sauce see you guys later goodbye